Hey, what's going on guys? Zach here and welcome to another video. Today I want to showcase Unity 5 versus GameMaker Studio 2 and which software you should pick when developing games. So if you're new to the game development world and you haven't sort of figured out what you're going to use yet, it's important to figure out what you want to produce and from there uh, you can choose whichever software you'd like. So let's get right into it. Both programs, GameMaker Studio and Unity 5, have 2D and 3D capabilities. Now, the kicker here is that Unity 5 has better 3D coverage than GameMaker Studio 2. Now, GameMaker Studio 2 has better 2D coverage. So with that being said, the obvious bet would be to go towards Unity 5 if you wanted to create a beautiful looking 3D game. Now, if you wanted to go more on the 2D side, there is in Unity 5 something called Unity 2D that allows you to develop 2D games. And I'm going to go through sort of the pros on each side of it to see what might work for you best. Game Maker Studio 2 is still in its beta form, but Game Maker Studio originally was $800 for the master collection. This included all of the export modules and everything GameMaker had to offer you. I assume it's going to be the same for GameMaker Studio 2, but since it's so new, they could upgrade that price a little bit. They often do have uh, humble bundles and different sales going on with GameMaker Studio, so if you can't pay the full $800, there will surely be a sale sometime in the future. To the beginner programmer, GameMaker Studio is a lifesaver. It's got drag and drop functionality, which allows you to not even program any code and still have games that are working correctly. Now, it's very easy to prototype games in, in GameMaker Studio. Very easy. You can use the drag and drop. You can have a prototype out on a game idea that you've had in less than a 30 minutes, depending on the game size. But it's very, very quick. Now, uh, it also has its own scripting language. So, there's one language that you have to learn as in with unity 5 there are three languages now you can choose to just use one of them on unity 5 but game maker studio 2 only has one specific scripting language now something with game maker studio 2 is you can export to multiple multiple platforms uh, including with that unity 5 can also uh, export to mobile uh, windows mac and consoles so can Game Maker Studio. With the price of $800 for Game Maker Studio 2, it will be a lot cheaper if you wanted to go for that PlayStation or Xbox One route rather than using Unity in a 2D game system. Some of the games made in Game Maker Studio are such titles called Hyperlight Drifter, Crashlands, everything with your thumbless hands. Finger painting was never going to be relevant, your mother always told you. Show and Undertale. These are some titles that were created with the uh, software Game Maker Studio, and uh, a lot more are available. I'll have links in the description of both Unity 5 and Game Maker Studio to showcase the different games that were made with that software. Unity 5 comes in at a price of $125 a month for the pro version of the software. Now, each program has their own free version, so you can go into GameMaker Studio and Unity 5 at a free cost and sort of just play around with the program, see how you like it. I would recommend you do that if you're struggling to figure out which one you wanted to use. Play with both, see what works for you, what environment works better for you, etc. Now, like GameMaker Studio, uh, Unity has a lot of the same features for its 2D version. Uh, you can import Sprite, it's got a Sprite editor, it's got the whole thing. Now, there are a couple cool things about Unity that GameMaker doesn't have. And one of those is that you can combine 2D and 3D uh, areas with ease. So, you can have you know a full 2D platformer game, but in the background have these 3D objects just floating around in the background. Really cool, and that would require a lot of code change basically uh, your entire project to have a code change if you wanted to go into game maker studio with 2d and 3d conversion uh, you can animate anything you'd like within the software of unity which is very cool you can take anything you want whether that be a light source whether that be a, a uh, object in the game you can do anything and animate it actually with that software uh, now there's layering system in the levels as well so when you're 
creating the level, you, there's a whole layering system to it. Now, Game Maker Studio doesn't have a layering system, but Game Maker Studio 2 does. So they stepped it up with that, and everything is cool. There's also scale comprehension for the multi-platform development. So if you wanted to have the game up on Windows, as well as, say, the iPhone, the scale comprehension would actually optimize it and bring it to the same scale uh, ratio to the phone and as well as Windows. So Unity is a little bit more of a cost. It's more complicated as well, and it will take you a lot longer to prototype things out and as well as uh, create these projects. Now, uh, it also doesn't have any drag and drop features with it, although it does have some hot bars where you can in-game edit and uh, sort of like a debug mode and play around with values, which is really cool. You don't need to go into the code for that, but it does need to be coded originally in to do that. Some games made with Unity uh, include Kerbal Space Program. Sword Cost Legends. And Galaxy, which was a 2D game that I thought was really cool looking. That's going to be it today. What did you guys think about the software? Game Maker Studio 2 or Unity 5? Which side are you on? And please let me know in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. And as always, thanks for watching. Visit CodingMadeSimple.com to learn more. Peace.